guys, it's Madeline Dunn here, and today we are going to do um, making a plastic pencil holder and some other stuff at the bottom. Um, yeah, but making a plastic pencil holder. So first, I'm going to remove the label. So this right here. Okay, I'm probably worst world's worst bottle label in the world. <laughs> it's still not off. It's actually a really good way to remove bottles, which is rinse underwater. So I'll be back in a minute after doing that. So I think this is pretty much the best I could do. See, this is still turned a bit off. Um, and then all you need to do is cut for see here about that much or less I'm only gonna do the dough but you can do more so yeah so I've got some duct tape to put on the bottom so it's not sharp so yeah do that around the bottom neatly right so I cut mine in half my masking tape because it's pretty thick and then secured it on the bottom to stop it being cut um, and that's part of the pencil case. You can stop here because it already looks like a pencil case. You can either have it that way or you can screw the lid on and have it this way. No, you can't. Unless you make some kind of stand. But I'm going to carry on. So first you've got to decorate the lid. So yeah. I'm going to decorate mine. So... So I'm going to use one of my favourite Sharpies, which is the gold one. It's awesome. It's a special edition, though. So, yeah. And I'm going to do my favourite, which is polka dots. I just love polka dots. I don't know why. It's still a tiny bit soggy, but I don't, I don't really care <laughs> because I'm impatient. And I, I literally couldn't find a towel anywhere, so you can't really see them. But I put gold polka dots on them. So now I'm gonna put some brass, brass, <laughs> brass, brass. So I'm going to do another round of polka dots. My brass sharpie is really running out. Well, yeah, good point. But it's really, really running out. Okay. Uh, yeah. You still really, really, really can't see what I am doing. So yeah, uh, that's decorated now. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some holes in the sides. So I only put four holes because I don't really have much time. But what I did is I made a small snip and then... Put a pencil in. So yeah, that's that bit done. And now for the base of the pot, we're just gonna use some colourful pattern paper. Right, so I got this really pretty flower pattern paper and this tape to stick it on with. Uh, it's a bit more prettier than the masking tape. So, because I can't find my PVA glue, look how messy we are. Yeah, not me ish okay it's me so let's put the base on so what i did for the base is i just drew on the back around this on some on the flower paper and um, dug it out and stuck it on with this and there you have it it's finished and the good thing about this is if you unscrew the top which you can also decorate according to your liking 
you can put things like cash money in I'll demonstrate see it's kind of like a money box get a whole handful okay my money is annoying me now I only have a bit of money actually let's really earn some more see you can use it as a money box I'm really rubbish at demonstrating so yeah you can use it as a money box and you can put a slit in the top if you really want to and then the sides you can put your pencils in yeah let me go and find some more pencils to demonstrate uh, yeah so I found a pink pencil but I ended up going, putting, shoving in a grey felt tip and a broken cocktail stick but anyway that's it Goodbye, pen. Why? Ugh. It's because it's only stuck in by the end. Look. Yeeks. This is definitely made for pencils. Anyhow. Um, this is really good for desktops. Because you can keep your money safe. And it looks pretty. It looks pretty nice. And you can obviously store your pencils, cocktail sticks and felt tips in. No. Look. Perfect. Um, I know I'm a bit crazy. But hey. Um, if you like this video, please um, write in the comments if you, and like and subscribe if you want to see more DIYs like this one. Thank you for watching. And I hope you subscribe. But, yeah, thank you for watching.